I'm Tricia, an organic gardener. Soil preparation is so important in organic gardening. And today I want to talk about double digging. This is a technique that was invented by French market gardeners in the 19th century. The double digging technique involves loosening the soil to about double the depth of the head of a garden spade. Double digging for initial soil preparation really does a good job if your soil is compacted. But if your soil is nice and loose and loamy, you don't want to double dig because that will just disturb the earthworms. To double dig, you'll need a large tub or a wheelbarrow, a spade and a digging fork or a broad fork. Fertilizers and compost can be added at this time too, especially fertilizers with phosphorus, which moves very slowly through the soil. Double digging is hard work, but it's really the best way to loosen your soil. And it doesn't create hard pan like rototilling can. And remember, you don't have to double dig your whole garden, just the planting area. Before you double dig, make sure your soil is dry enough. To check soil moisture, dig down six inches. Grab a handful of soil and squeeze it together. If the lump you make can be crumbled easily, the soil is dry enough to double dig. If you double dig while your soil is wet, you're gonna do more harm than good. So just wait until it dries out. Mark out your bed with stakes and strings. That way you won't do more work than you need to. We're going to dig a trench. It's going to be the width of the bed, and it's going to be no smaller than the width of the broad fork. It's going to be 12 inches deep. Then we're going to put the dirt into the bucket. OK. Now for the easy part. We're going to grab the broad fork and we're going to loosen up the soil underneath the soil we just dug out. Oh, this soil is so nice and loose. Now's the time to add the fertilizer and now a little bit of compost. I'm going to dig the second trench. The topsoil that I dig up from the second trench is going to replace the topsoil from the first trench. Continue this pattern until you get to the last trench. When you're finished trenching, just add all the soil from the first trench into the last trench. So now just water your beds a little bit to let the dirt settle, and you're ready for your French intensive garden and to grow organic for life.